Hey everybody, I'm down here but I look kind of fuzzy so anyway I'm doing a part three on Printful and WooCommerce uh, something I know um, when I mentioned in the part two video when you push your products to your website it doesn't push a lot of information it gives you the title all the pricings all the variations which is the heavy load of the work but there's still a few things you need to do um, once it pushes your product to your site to enhance the uh, uh, experience for your uh, buyer or to make things easier for you or SEO. But here's a product I just pushed over. It is a t-shirt. And what it sent over was the title, which you entered at the Printful site. And it made all these, uh, let's go down and see if we can find them here. Uh, variations. Um, see, these are all the variations. So I'm pointing at the screen again. You can't see my pointer finger. It created all the variations, all the colors, all the sizes, and that's the heavy load. And that's great that they did that. But there's a couple things that you need to do. Let's start off with SEO. Now, it will put in here a default um, t-shirt description. I pretty much leave that alone. But I will copy my title at a minimum. Command C for Mac people, Control C for you others. And then scroll down where it says product short description. It won't push anything there. So you gotta enter and I usually, at a very minimum, will copy the title down there. And then you should have a little bit more. Uh, Google likes around 300 words on a page. I can never get 300 words describing my product because I feel like I'm spamming people. But, um, Let's show everybody that you are a teacher. Let's just do that for now. I'll probably fix that later. So you gotta you gotta enter a product short description. Printful and not push one over for you. And you need that for SEO and everything else. Next thing is I again I've already copied my title, but if you're doing that or copy your title and then go down to your gallery. Because it puts all the variation image mockups for you. And again, heavy load, that's great. You want to click, no, Mango. Mango always wants to come up here. Add product gallery. You're not going to add any more images, but what you're going to go do is, Mango, is you're going to go here in to each image, and this is real quick. You're going to click the image of the first t-shirt, and then you're going to paste your title in the title here, and then paste it in alt text. Again, that's for SEO purposes mainly, but when people hover over the image, it will give them a little text description of what it is. If you want it, take some more time and add the color as well, you can. I really don't do that. Um, but do that to each of the t-shirts, because all this counts for your SEO. Google indexes all these words. So when people are searching on Google for Teacher I Am t-shirts, you're going to do real well. Well, I'm going to do real well, I hope. So we do that to all the images for this t-shirt. One more. And then you don't have to hit add a gallery or anything. I just X out. It saved all that text. Mango, please, I'm teaching the world. Cats. So that's done, and it will also do it since you did it all your t-shirts. Your main image has now got those keywords. I go in here. I don't have a keyword categories. I just have in here, um, but I'll add it in here on my product page, teacher, or maybe teachers, teacher, and add that. So if anybody goes to my website and searches teacher, this will come up as one of the products. So. I do that. And if anybody happens to just come into that, it also creates a category kind of, it's a tag. So if somebody goes to the tag page for teacher, it will show all my products that are tagged for teacher. So that takes care of all of that. And I think that is, that's all the stuff for SEO and stuff. So we're good there. I'm going to go ahead and boom, get rid of those. Next thing I do is I just go down here under advanced. Now, WooCommerce uses, has his uh, reviews. And I encourage people to leave reviews of my products. 
by default, the reviews are not checked off. And before I check that, I'm going to show you what it does. Let's bring up uh, this Facebook Messenger. Um, I'm going to go to my site. Vinyl. That's a new t-shirt. Go to that t-shirt. And it kind of, if you don't have re reviews enabled, um, right here, this tabs, well, it's not doing it. So I can't tell you, but you see there's no reviews there either. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to enable reviews. And then that is all I do pretty much after I push a product. It takes a minute or two. Printful did all the heavy lifting on creating all the different variations for me, pricing and all that. That's good. Oh, one more thing I do do. Sorry. And I'll show you why, how I do it later. On a commingled website, and I'll back up a second. If your website store is just Printful products and you have installed the Printful shipping plugin, plug you're done. You're good to go. This is a commingled site, meaning I have products I self-fulfill, like I mentioned in part two video, and I'm adding products through Printful. That kind of messes up shipping because my decals, I only charge $3 shipping for as many decals as you want. T-shirts, Printful charges five bucks, I think it is, for shipping a t-shirt. So what I have to do is, and I've already created them, but I'll show you how, is I have to go to the shipping right here. And I have to shipping classes, I'm going to select t-shirt. So that will assign this product to the t-shirt shipping class to make sure the proper shipping is charged and I don't lose money. Okay, then I just click update. Dun, 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 dun. Takes a little second here, boink. Done, that product is good to go. Now, I'll take you to the shipping classes. What you want to do is in your WooCommerce, let me move it over here so you can see it. You want to go to WooCommerce settings. And then you want to go up here, uh, forget that. You want to go up here to shipping. Now, WooCommerce has a new type of shipping thing. It's kind of a flat rate or whatever type of thing. Um, the first thing you want to do is, if you haven't done it, is you go to Shipping Classes. And this just sets up the classes. I have a class for mugs, my party cups, which I can remove now since I don't sell those anymore. But it says I have 17 products, so I'm going to have to check that out. Sweatshirts and t-shirts. All that does is you can go over here to this side, click Add Shipping Class, name your shipping class, you're done. Once you get your shipping classes, go back to Shipping Zones. And then I have my domestic shipping economy. I'm going to click that. Your shipping classes are going to be right here. Okay. No shipping class costs. I have set the three bucks. That's all my decals. But here's all the shipping classes I have. So we were talking about a t-shirt. T-shirt I do, I think it's five or five fifty from Printful, but I have it set up for it's five dollars plus one dollar times the quantity. Now I do that, and I can probably set this down to four to get it more closer. Uh, Mango, you're being a pain in the butt today. Um, but they charge seventy-five cents for each additional T-shirt. So if somebody orders three T-shirts, you're still capturing the uh, the cost here. So. You want to do something like that. It's just a math equation, five plus parentheses, one times quantity. I can change it to 75 cents quantity. In fact, why don't I do that? Mango. I'm going to change it to 0.75. And when you get all your classes done, just hit save changes. And so now when someone comes to your store and orders your stuff, you can also down here calculation type. I can do a per class, meaning if they order a mug, they're going to get charged the mug shipping price. And if they order a t-shirt, they're going to get charged a t-shirt class. If you want to, you can change that to uh, per order. And it will only charge the most expensive shipping class you have. 
I'm still playing with how this works out with I haven't had anybody buy multiple things yet so and the main reason I did it per class is if somebody buys a printful item they're gonna get charged shipping that and if they buy a decal they're gonna get charged shipping that because it can be shipped separately and um, I'll have to get back to you on how printful handles combined shipping. I don't know if they do the most expensive or if they charge for each item. I think they charge for each class as well. So those are two things you need to do if you, um, when you push products from Printful to your website. You need to go back to the product. You need to add the little things I told you to. Um, add the uh, description. Add some SEO to your images. Tag it. Categorize it if you want to. And then Check off reviews if you want reviews. And then if you're not, if you're a co-mingled site, you have to make sure you assign a shipping class and make sure you got them set up here. Do, 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 do. What are we going to do? So I'll go back here. So that should be it. Um, I'm trying to think real quick and before I leave you. Here's what it looks like if you have reviews, description. So everything shows up in the right order there. Let's go back to that t-shirt and make sure it's now showing reviews. Yep, they're now showing reviews since I checked that off. And I can show you a little, one more thing to do for reviews. Go back to if you want reviews or not. And um, some things I recommend, you can go to WooCommerce again. I think it is settings and you go to general. Is it general? Nope, products. Click products. There we go. Product reviews. You can enable ratings and reviews so they can leave a one to five star. Go away. You can leave a, something, your buyer can leave a one to five star review. Um, you can require re ratings to leave a review. I don't really care. Go away, I said. Uh, show verify owner label for customer reviews. That means it's like Amazon. It's going to show this person actually bought the product and I can even oh, cats are bugging me today. I can even check off only allow reviews from verified owners, meaning they have to buy the product. Now my store is set up so they do not have to set up an account to buy the item. I did that because I really, I think it pushes people away if they have to go through a big old sign up process, if they have to sign up, and create a user and everything to buy something for me. So I try to make it easy as possible. They can do that if they want. And the benefit of doing that is they can log in and see all their previous orders. They can log in and see the tracking history or the stages of their products. So there's benefit to that, but I give them the choice. So I leave that unchecked off the verified owners. But if they are verified, meaning they did create an account, it will show on the review that they did indeed buy this item. So that's it for today. Keeping it short and sweet. That's 13 minutes. Again, review, quick recap. This is what you do when you push your products from Printful to your WooCommerce store. You do need to go back and do a little bit of editing to your product to make sure it's good for your buyer. You know, you have a good description. You have it SEO'd. So uh, search engines will pick you up. You have it checked off if you want a review or not. And you have shipping classes assigned if you are a commingled store and you're not using the shipping plugin. So any questions again, go ahead and post below. I try to answer all questions unless they're goofy ones that, yeah, you know, spam. But I try to answer all questions that I can. So, and of course, I love it if you subscribe to my channel. I talk about life, print, full, merch, eBay. Vinyl decals, cats, whatever you think, whatever I can think of for the day. So like the video if you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Remember to be happy all the time. Choose to be happy. I'm happy. All right. Later, guys.